Hey my cookies, today we will be reviewing the Kosori Premium 6 Quart Pressure Cooker as well as doing a demo of my garlic and rosemary beef tips using this thing. So I'm excited. Let's cook. This is the Kosori unit. It's very sleek looking. I love the design of it and it was packaged really well. Now on the lid, I just want to show you the pressure releasing valve. Very important. And there's also the anti-clog filter and the sealing ring. Now you get two sealing rings so that's always convenient. And I love how easy it is to lock this thing. You just match up the arrow to the lock. Also included are a measuring cup, the water collection container, a ladle, and a spoon. And here's our steaming rack. I love the little hook that's attached to the top to make it easy to remove. And of course the inner pot. Now my favorite part, the control panel. They have all of these little helpful presets that take the thought process away. You can just select whatever you're cooking and you can even control the intensity and heat of each of those preset settings. Kasori also provided us with the warranty booklet as well as the instruction manual, of course, that's extremely helpful, and this cute little recipe book. Get to know this instruction manual because we're using a pressure cooker and I love that they have the important safeguards to do not read all of those and it also includes cooking function times um, with how to adjust it the default time setting just all of this good stuff make sure that you read your instruction manual cover to cover I won't lie, I've always been nervous about using a pressure cooker, but the step-by-step -step instructions in the manual made me so comfortable. The enclosed recipe booklet makes things even easier because it includes a cheat sheet which shows you different things to cook, um, beans, grains, rice, meat. It gives you the ingredient to water ratio, the timing, everything you need to know about this cooking process. In addition to the recipe booklet, Kasori also has a Facebook community where users share recipes, tips, and tricks, and all types of things. So that's very helpful as well. I'll link the group down there in the description box, so check them out. Okay, cookies, let's test drive this thing. We're going to make my garlic and rosemary beef tips. I'm using a very inexpensive cut of beef. I want to really put the kosori to the test. So I have some sirloin tip and I have cut them up in one inch chunks. I'm going to season it. Don't worry about the ingredients. I'll link the recipe in the description box. Now I'm going to add in some of my W sauce. Don't make me say it. And toss it in some flour. I'm attaching the water collection cup. I've plugged it in, which turns it on, of course, and now I'm going to select the brown saute preset. The dial shows you the temperature setting and the timing, so we're just going to press on. I've poured in my oil, and I'm just going to allow it to heat up and then start adding in my meat so that we can sear it or brown it on both sides. In order for the meat to sear properly, you don't want to crowd the pot, so I'm doing this in batches. Once I brown one batch on both sides, I remove it and add in the other batch of meat and brown that until all of the meat has had time to brown. Kasori also provided a lid to use during the saute process to keep the oil from splashing up on us, so good job Kasori. Adding in some chopped onions and allow them to saute for a minute. Now some minced garlic saute it for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to sprinkle in just a little bit of that remaining flour we had from the meat and give it a quick stir to stir out that flour taste. This part is important. We're going to add in our red wine and our beef broth and we're going to stir to deglaze. As it heats up and starts to thicken, all of those bits at the bottom, that fond, is going to lift up. This is important. You don't want it sitting at the bottom of the pressure cooker. It's just going to burn. So make sure you stir it all up. I didn't get it on film, but I definitely dropped in a sprig of rosemary. It's also very important that you have enough liquid in your pot for it to cook properly. It won't come up to full pressure if you have less than two cups of liquid. I turned it off by pressing stop and cancel. That stops the saute process. Making sure my pressure releasing valve is set to lock and then I'm going to do the same with the lid. See the arrow? We have to line up the locks and it makes a noise to let you know that it's done right. Now I'm going to press the meat stew preset. 
After pressing on, that little display just means that it's coming up to pressure. Once it reaches its pressure level, the dial will turn back to 30 minutes and now we just chill out and wait. When the time is up, it will beep and automatically switch to keep warm, so now we unplug it. Now very carefully unlock the pressure release valve. I use the handle of my spoon. Just don't be as dramatic as me. I'm so extra. Now carefully open the lid away from your face. Ew. Cookies, I was so impressed with this pressure cooker. Look how delicious this looks. And in 30 minutes, this meat is super tender. Look how tender this meat is. Oh my God, I could not stop eating it. Cookies, I was not paid to lie to you guys and I never would. I honestly love this unit the kasori pressure cooker is an awesome investment and if you guys would like to purchase one if you order on monday march 26 2018 you will get 20 dollars off but if you don't order on that date kasori was nice enough to offer my cookies an exclusive 15 percent off discount i'll link that code down there in the description box so all the information you need about this unit will be in the description box so check it out again special thanks to kosori for allowing me to review this awesome product thank you guys and the link to the recipe will also be down there in the description box cookies thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it was helpful until next time be blessed